This is the plaintiff, Edward Steinberg. He says he's a music producer who's directed videos with Madonna, U2, Cheap Trick, and Queen Latifah, to name a few. The defendant is this funky hipster Jewish rabbi who hired him to produce five songs for him, hasn't paid him for all his hard work, and he's here suing him for every penny of the $4,300 he's owed. This is the defendant, Michael the Holy Man Madden. He says he's a rabbi who also writes songs and is known as the Rockin' Rabbi. Turns out, the plaintiff's nothing more than a con artist who never did a thing he promised. The guy delivered nothing to him, is trying to scam him, and he refuses to be scammed. So here they are. He's accused of pooping out on a producer. All parties, please raise your right hands. Be seated, come to order, please. Litigants have been affirmed, Your Honor. Thank you. You're welcome. Edward Steinberg, doing business as Raka Media? Correct. You are suing Michael the Holy Man Mammon? Hi. Okay. Also. For $4,300 that you say you are due for your time and studio time. All right, talk to me, what's going on? Um, I worked with Michael for, I was introduced to Michael by a mutual friend. Um, what do you do for a living? Explain I your business. I produce artists and I direct videos. Okay. For musicians, well-known musicians. Um, he had some good ideas. He had a song he had written, I don't know, 15, 20 years ago that he wanted to re-record. Um, I was happy to work with him. I worked with him for about two months to prepare it. Okay, hold on, just pause. What's this? What's going on here? Like, this is... Um, like, is this your performance? Oh, no, sir. Perso no, what? I'm just asking, is this your performance persona or? What? What? The dress. The dress? Yes, yes. Oh, uh, that's the way I am, you know? I'm a rock and roll rabbi. Rock and roll rabbi. <laughs> right, I'm a rabbi. You're actually a rabbi. I'm a rabbi, yeah, I'm so. He's actually rabbi. a rabbi. So he said. Yeah, okay. uh, but I rock and Where roll. Where are you a rabbi? Uh, in Borough Park in, in Brooklyn, you know? All you right, know. so he hires you, and why did he hire you? What's, what's your, your role was to produce, to reproduce this song? Originally, to reproduce one song, also to help him rewrite it, because it was not well developed. It was good, I mean, he's a good singer, he's a good writer, but he needed some development, and that's what producers do. Okay. And uh, went into a recording studio. I hired some great professional musicians, um, uh, someone to help me arrange it, the studio. Um, it went very well. Okay. So the final product is done and paid for, right? Correct. You got paid how much? Um, me, I don't know, the, the whole no, budget. I, I know that you paid the musicians out of that amount. So how much money did you get from, uh, did he pay you? Yeah. Sort of. How, what does that mean? His friend paid him for it. Uh, his, his friend his was bankrolling it? Yes. Okay. And Which is who, fine. is a friend here? Yeah, that's you. Yeah. Okay, and yeah. you're uh, can, come on up. Just mic, sir. Sorry. Thank you. What's your name? Benjamin Weiss. Okay, and your uh, what's your relationship? I'm uh, friends with Michael uh, for about ten years now. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I, okay. Is he a good singer? He, He's a great singer. Yeah. He, he, I, Very inspirational. Okay. You want to hear me sing? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't. I don't, I don't. I don't. I don't need to. Um, can I just ask you, all right, so you get paid for that, and then there's this additional work that is the subject of this lawsuit, right? Yes. He did a really good job on the song. Um, it sounded great. And we both decided, agreed that let's work on some more songs. We worked on... I don't remember if it was four or five songs, Michael. No, I have. What does worked on four or five songs mean? Okay, he came in with the first song, new song, and he read it to me. He sang it for me. I go, okay, we need to add lyrics. We need to uh, add phrasing, uh, kind of arranging the vocals. And did you do yes. that at that sitting? That sitting at yeah. about seven or eight or ten sittings. It's, a, it's not something how you do. How many sittings do you, uh, how many hours of work do you say that you worked without getting paid on these additional songs? 60, 70 hours. With no agreement in place? Every time we'd work on a song and he would say, okay, let's go and record it and we'll pay for it and my fee was included in the session. And every time we scheduled 
a time he said, oh, the weather isn't right, my voice isn't right. I said, okay, let's do it another day. Now let's put it off a few weeks, a few weeks, a few weeks, a few months. Went on for a better part of a year. And I had faith that between Michael and Ben, who were very nice people, except for this situation, um, would take care of things. At the end of the day... How long have you been in business? Because you're a professional. This is what you do, right? Yes. Like you've done this for, according to your statement, you've done this for a few really big name people like... Oh, quite a few people. Yeah. Madonna, Gypsy Kings, U2, Cheap Trick, a lot of people. Why would you not have anything in writing? In the music business, I, I did a, a feature film, a music for a feature film, and you get the contracts four months after the job is done. That's very classic. You get emails to let you know this is the way Do you it's have strength. emails that'll show what the agreement was regarding the the additional songs? Uh, for the studio, yeah. Show yes. me the emails you have. Sure. He says he spent 60 hours on those other songs. Is um, that true or not true? I, I would say maybe like uh, 30, 40, something like that. Okay, you know? and what were the 30 and 40, 40. hours spent doing? Uh, okay. Uh, like uh, exactly you, what? Okay, was, right. I, I wrote another more songs. So actually, he was correcting the grammar of the song, of the title, and uh, I mean, the song, the original song, everything I composed, the music, the everything, the, the, the music, the lyrics, everything I did, just, he corrected the grammar, um, and just about it, mostly the grammar. So, you, but how does that you know. take 30 hours? Well, uh, we spend about three, four songs. So, uh, so 30 uh, hours sounds right? Uh, <sighs> They became very close friends, and they spent a lot of time right. together. Yeah, we said about... It was not as a was, proposed um, contract to work on a new songs. It was mostly to, um, it was to prepare for the next project where we want to go to. But this was, hasn't been discussed before that. What we had discussed is to focus on the first song and to take him the first song to get to the world, like to put it on the radio we talked about, or put it on other platforms to make him a little, to get like a taste, a feeling, the feedback of how people like this style of music. And then obviously then we can invest or move on to express more of his songs. Okay, yes, I do want to hear it. I want to hear the holy man. <laughs> I'm a holy man, da, ba, 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 da, dum. I'm a holy man, da, ba, da, da, da. so take me just the way I am. But I'm a holy man, da, 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 da. I'm a holy man, da, 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 da. so take me just the way, come on everybody clap, let's go, come on. I'm a holy man, I'm a holy man. So take me just the way I am. I'm a holy man. Yeah. Okay then. Yeah. I feel good. I feel good. All right. Thank you. It's one of the email budgets. Okay, so this is something that you put together for a proposed trip to Cuba to do the recording in Cuba. Right. He had a choice of either Brooklyn or New York or Cuba. Cuba was cheaper and it's a warm place. And it was, I think when we started out, it was winter. We thought it was a good idea. Yes, um, your so paradise, their prison. But hey, everyone have fun. You know you're talking to a Cuban, right? Yeah. But in any event, let me just, let, let's go over this. All right, so you, you propose this and what happens? It's 14 grand. This, this is, is to record three, what, four, four songs? Is it four songs? I think right. it says that. Yeah. Okay. Four or five songs. It was songs, a proposal yeah. for three, four more songs. And, and that then was you the guys did one. not, you, they did not accept that, right? Well, well, they said yes. And my birthday is on June 5th. Last June 5th, we planned to fly there in the morning, have a party with my friends, and then record for the next week. And a day or two before, Michael said, mm, I'm not really up for it. All right. So, um, so it doesn't happen. And then when do you get the distinct impression that he doesn't want to work with you anymore? At one point, they were in, uh, Ben and Michael were on vacation in Florida, and I was talking to them and saying, you know, if you're not going to work anymore, you need to compensate me. Ben said, okay, let's, I'll give Michael a check for $1,200. He'll be back in New York tomorrow. He'll give you the check as a partial payment for the money we owed. And I said, Wait, Fine. I'm sorry, is this a partial payment or is this partial. to make you happy and move on? Partial payment. A settlement. Partial payment as far as I know. Ben gave Michael a check for $1,200, and Michael came to New York. I called him up, and I said, you're supposed to come over today. He goes, I don't want to. 
Anyway, I said, well, can I have the check? Because it's not a matter of future work, it's work that I've, that's a small point payment toward, toward the work I've already done. He said, no, I'm not giving it to you. And that was basically it. Okay, let me hear your version on this, go ahead. I did the song for him, I recorded it, he liked it, we went to the studio, we did recordings with all the professional, um, you know, musicians. I paid him $6,000 for that song. And I, the, the condition was that let's, I don't want to do any other songs with you just to this. And he told me he's going to get on the market into the air, onto the radio. So that was the deal. That was the deal. You know, once we got the song done, he was supposed to put it onto the market, into, into the radio. And, and then somehow he, uh, he just went on and says, Michael, you got any other song? I said, yeah. So he says, let's do some work, some other songs. But it's something in my mind was telling me, what about my song, The Holy Man, The Holy Man, let's get it on the radio. So he's kind of somehow, I don't know how, he, he just ignored it and said, let's go on to the other songs. So I said, all right, let's do the other song. That was what was going on for three, four months, three months, two months, three months, we were doing the other songs. And then he tells me, listen, the song that you did, The Holy Man, is a corny song. I said, how do, how, do you, how do you tell me this? After I spent $6,000 on a song, $6,000 on one song, he didn't do nothing for my song. He didn't do anything. He just wanted to do the other song. He wanted to charge me $20,000 for three songs. I told him, listen, you want to do it, fine, we'll do it. Let's, let's make a demo. Why, why do I have to pay $20,000 for it? Let's go with the first song. Let's see how it goes, and it will take it from there. So you, know, so you never a, agreed to pay him an hourly nothing, fee or any such nothing. thing? Welcome back to the People's Court, Harvey Levin here. So, is there a market for a hip rabbi? That's my question. I suppose there's a market for anything these days, so yeah. I, I mean, Cardi B is huge, she was a stripper, so why can't there be a hip rabbi? I don't know who Cardi B is, I'm not hip. Oh no, you don't know who Cardi B is? No, I really ah! don't. What do you say? I think that, yeah, of course there could be. I mean, Cardi B was a stripper, so it's okay. Thank God somebody knows who Cardi B is going inside the card room. Now, was there ever a time when you had agreed to pay $1,200? We started, Michael was con concerned about advertising his first song, and Michael was brought that up, that that was the main focus. And Ed was more focused on producing the next three songs, so he wanted us to accept the proposal for the next three songs and m work forward. We did not, we were not ready to spend that money before we know how much, how, the where we're going was at to all. The first song, right? Exactly, so we did not agree to that at all. We and told that's him, when all this came up. That's everything happened at that phone call in July, and that's when we, we. That's when I felt like that he spent. He 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 said they spent so many hours with Michael, that I I wasn't involved in that meetings where they were meeting as friends, and and um, and I agreed to give Michael twelve hundred dollars. I gave him a check to Michael, and I told Michael that you can give it to Ed whenever you see him next as a courtesy for the time that he spent with but Michael. But Michael didn't give it to Ed. Michael felt that he, that he doesn't deserve it because Michael felt that he was not delivering the service that he promised to in the first case. Here's what's gonna happen. Um, you have a very difficult position, Mr. Steinberg, because you, you are, um, you want me to pay you exactly what you say, even though you can't show me an agreement to pay you by the hour or pay you by the piecework exactly what you say. For much more than that, um, you know, to actually produce the song and do everything and, and hire the musicians and get the studio time and everything else for the first song, it was only 6,000. But you are demanding 4,000 today for not doing any of that, but, but just the time that you spent together just kind of, I don't know, jamming, hearing it out, trying to figure out better ways to, you know, it's so unquantifiable. It's it's really difficult because, you know, I, I have to like figure out an hourly wage for you. I have to figure out how many hours. You know, first you said 60, he said 30. You went like, yeah, that sounds right. You know, there. but so your lack of planning becomes my emergency and I've got to find the outrage that you have and order a specificity that you didn't require, but I've got to require it now. I don't think so. I think this is uh, when you do a little rough justice here. And, um, you know, if it was good enough for you guys then, it's kind of good enough for me now. And uh, I'm going to order on the plaintiff's lawsuit against the defendant the payment of 12,000, I'm sorry, of <laughs> 1,000. 
$200. That's what I'm going to order. That's my verdict. Good luck, folks. Shalom. 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 <laughs> so the plaintiff is going to get some money, $1,200. He doesn't get $4,300. If the rockin' rabbi can yeah, step over here and talk to me for a minute, yeah. how are you? Thank God, day by day, I'm healthy, I'm this, I'm rocking, I'm praying to God, I feel the best. Okay. Day by day. A couple yeah. of questions for you. Number yeah. one, why the glove? Why not? Why not? It makes me feel good. Are you trying to copy uh, Michael uh, Jackson? Well, he actually copied me, but I, he made it. I didn't. But I'm still alive. He's not, so, you know. Right. Well, look, I'm sorry you didn't yeah. win the case, you know. You lost the case. No, I, I won the case. I'm giving it as, as a donation, you know. Is that what you're right. terming it? A as, donation? As a donation, I like yeah. I really won the case. Yeah, I'm All donating right. it. I feel, you know, he's All a nice right. guy. He's what are you going to okay. do, you know? You think you can succeed in this business? It's a tough it's, business, uh, you know. I know. Everything's tough. You get up in the morning is also tough. You I know. know. Everything life is but tough. But do you think you got it? I got it. I know I can do You're it. You're going to make it. I'm going to make it, yes. I'm okay. going to make it. Okay. The rock and roll about the holy man. Okay. The holy the man. The holy man. All right. right Good that's the name Thank you very Thank much. You. Good luck to you. Goodbye. Okay? Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. All right, Mr. Steinberg. Do you think he's going to make it? Seriously. You've worked with Madonna, U2, Cheap Trick, groups like that? You, you, you do believe he's got it? It's possible. It's certainly possible. You satisfied 1200 bucks? That's going to encourage you to work with him some more? Oh, I don't think that's so. That's what we need I, to I hear. Just, I, I don't want the aggravation. I, there's a lot of the people that will pay me decent okay. money. Good enough. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Good luck with your career. Harvey, what do you think? Okay, Doug, they clearly thought they had a contract, but it was just deficient. In the law, the legal term is called quantum merit, which means you still get the reasonable value of the services that are actually rendered.